Hey YouTube, it's Mr. North 14 and today we're going to talk about the all new Blink Outdoor System, the redesigned camera for Blink. Now, I had a lot of questions when I did my last little telltale about uh, the new system and now I can finally give you all the information that you needed to know about this camera system. Okay, so to start off, it's a redesigned camera two-way audio, 1080p, you know, camera uh, is basically just like the X-T2, but it has one additional feature that the X-T2 doesn't have, okay? And we're going to explain that because you really have to think about, is this an upgrade that you want? Because they've changed their policies and Amazon has them trying to be more like Ring and profitable in a sense with a subscription plan as well as people buying the uh, cameras. Before, they were just buying the cameras and you had free storage. Now, in a way, you still have free storage, but like I said, it's always a kickback to everything because we are in an age where big companies buy small companies and basically they have to get money from these companies so i would have to salute my hat to blink they started something revolutionary with two-year battery life and all wireless security system they were innovators in the business then they were bought for about 400 million 500 million by amazon and they lost all sense of being that front runner okay of being that innovator okay so i'm really sad to say today that blink is no longer an innovator in the business okay so you look at ring and they purchased them for a billion dollars they're still out there creating things you know so this is basically you get with ring you get a drone security camera with blink you get a subscription service so as you can see how the two don't innovate it used to be blink that innovated and ring was just a cash cow you know because everybody knew about ring everybody wanted the doorbell but i'm gonna stop talking about that right now and go into what's different with the new system okay so first of all I did not purchase the camera. I had a friend who purchased it, went over to his house. We ran the thing through his paces. I helped him hook everything up with his new system. And I got to see the quality and how it was. Um, sorry, I don't have any video, but he did not want his home over the internet. If it was here at my house, as you can see, I do my videos and you get to see everything. Okay, because you know, I understand, you know, protection of his family and everything like that, but I'm so happy that he let me help him hook everything up, get everything started, and actually take check out the system. So for one, the Blink XT, the new Blink Outdoor, is no different in quality in the, and in what it can do than the XT2. So are you getting a better camera? No, you are not. You're not getting a better camera. So that's the part that shocked me. I thought not only would you be getting a better camera that does more, that's more reliable, you know, that less false alarms and all that stuff like that, and you wouldn't have to worry about putting the angles up and you'd be able to use the, the zoning where you can black things out, areas to block things out. Well, I hate to tell you folks, it's still the same headache. Okay, you have to sit there with my friend. Luckily, I knew the things to do, so I saved him probably months of false alarms and setting things up properly. Okay, so the camera system is no different than the, the Blink Outdoor is no different than the Blink X-T2. Okay, the only difference is that if you purchased your system before 41520, okay, before 1420, you are grandfathered in to free cloud storage. And you can add any of the new cameras 
to that and still get the free cloud storage. If you purchase your system after 41520, then you will have to pay for either cloud storage or you can opt to use the Sync Modules 2 USB port and have it saved locally instead of on the cloud. Okay, so my friend, he's thinking about that. He's going to see when that free offer runs out for him, you know, to have it free for six months, they give it to you. And then you have to pay after that. You have to decide if you're going to pay or you're going to lose the local storage. Okay, so now that brings us into other issues with the system. Like I said, you can add the new cameras to the existing sync sync uh, the the sync module. You can add it, no issues. But you won't get some of the features of the Blink X. I mean, of the Blink Outdoor, like being able to use the USB cloud storage, okay? You won't be able to do that, but you will be able to have the Alexa support where Alexa now integrates with the Blink and you can have the speakers tell you when you have an alert. They'll say, hey, someone's at your front door, someone's at, at the back door camera, like that. So you get audible alerts. You'll still get stuff like that. You know, but you won't get the USB cloud storage. You would have to purchase the new system like my friend did with the new Sync Module 2 to get that benefit of having, okay, the USB local storage. So what's changed? Really only one thing's changed about the camera and that's charging people. Okay, that's pretty much what it is. I like the fact that if you've owned it before April 15th of 2020, that you get to keep your free cloud storage and any camera you add, it could be the new Blink Outdoor, indoor camera, or the mini camera, you're just grandfathered in and you get to have that free storage. Now, again, it's the camera is just like the, the, the Blink Outdoor is just like the old Blink X2 camera. It runs on two AA lithium batteries, okay? You have to have the Blink Sync Module 2 if you want the local storage, and you purchased it after 41520, okay? It comes with charging cables, mounting hardware, the new uh, Sync Module Outdoor. Uh, it's just like, like I said, the old one, but the added thing that the new Blink system has the new Blink camera is that they're having an expansion bay that you can hook on to the new Blink outdoor cameras and you can add two more batteries. So instead of getting two year battery life, you can get almost four years of battery life with the new Blink outdoor camera because you, they have an extension uh, port base that hooks up to the camera that adds two more batteries. Now they ain't they're not doing that for the X-T2 or X-T1. I don't know why. They could easily do it, <laughs> easily do it, but you have to give people a reason to buy the new system. But there is a reason to buy the new system for the simple fact is you can't find any X-T2s, you know, in original X-Ts on Amazon right now because they're not selling them. Now, they'll sell you a five camera XT2 system for 300 and some dollars, but they won't sell you an individual add on camera. Okay, so basically, you have to go to a place like Kohl's or maybe Best Buy or some other or Bed Bath and Beyond where they're still selling the old Blink XT2 with the sync module. Now, you can pick that up for about $74 you know, on uh, Kohl's or Bed Bath & Beyond. But other than that, you won't be able to find the X-T2 cameras anymore, okay? So, like I said, I explained pretty much everything. What the difference is, is basically the subscription plan. Uh, if, if I was you, I would go out and find some, uh, purchase two more X-T2 cameras if you can. 
just in case yours go bad or not. But like I said, it really doesn't matter. You can purchase the new cameras. It's just going to cost you more. And you'll get the same features and everything. But the issue is, is that you won't be able to use the new stuff as far as, you know, the new USB storage because you won't need it if you bought it before 415 so basically the cameras are no better than the previous cameras like i said so you're not getting a better camera system in any way so i hope you enjoyed this i hope i uh taught you all about exactly the difference of the new uh blink system if you have any questions by all means please please leave them for me this is Mr. North 15. Peace out.